Bangladesh, People's Republic of Bangladesh, a country in South Asia, population of 150 million people, capital Dhaka, official language Bengali, about 88% of the population profess Islam. The first missionary journey to Bangladesh was held in 2012. By 2014, a group of graduates from God Will Provide Missionary School went back with a mission and an overwhelming desire to preach the gospel to the Muslim population. The hardest part upon our arrival was the sense of spiritual battles surrounding us. While I was still in the States, the Lord was already preparing me for what was to come. When we came here, we realized that we need to spend more time on our knees in communication with the Lord, supporting each other in prayer and spending one-on-one -on -one time with Him. When we were driving all together on the bus, we saw two little boys. They were street beggars and they seemed to be brothers. When the boys started drifting off to sleep and instinctively leaning on each other's shoulders for support, a man came up, probably someone they were working for, and began to aggressively beat them. One of the missionary brothers got emotionally overwhelmed and started crying. We were all deeply touched by this. Love for children and a great desire to serve the Lord helped missionaries adapt to harsh living conditions in Bangladesh. Shortly after, an opportunity was presented to begin missionary work at neighboring schools. We came to the poorest district of Dhaka and bought a ton and a half of rice, utilizing the school to distribute the portioned out aid. One of the Muslim school directors gave it to us. It was such a miracle. And today we are here with a planned program to teach children about Christ, sing songs, pray for them, and give them these gifts. The gifts contain rice, grain, books, pens, and chocolates. Glory to God! I am very grateful that we have people who can help us, and God just opens doors of opportunities. Together with the mission team, we have a local Christian brother by the name of Peter Ratna, who agreed to serve as a cheerful interpreter. Peter is an orphan who grew up with the children in a Christian home. He always wanted to help orphan children, just as he once was. When we look into these children's eyes, we see their hunger to be loved and for someone to tell them that the Lord loves them. The people know that these bags contain rice and grain. That is why you see so many people pushing their way through to be able to receive these packages. Today we were able to provide food for 300 people to feed them for one week. About 6 million of Bangladesh population lives in landfill areas. One of the next projects for the mission God will provide is to open a place in a few months where homeless people would live. Around 6 million people are currently residing on the streets.
The road from the capital Dhaka in Bangladesh to Patuakali takes 10 to 12 hours. Out of this travel time, three hours are spent traveling by ferry. Now we are driving home to Patuakali, to the city where we are building an orphanage. We still have four more hours of traveling. We were just on the ferry crossing over to the other side of the river. Many of us are already resting and we will be home in the morning. In the region of Patuakali, where we work, live one and a half million people, and 90% of them never heard the name of Jesus Christ. To do this, we needed a van for transportation, and in this place, it is very expensive and almost impossible to buy a van. But through testimony and through confirmation, Lord gave us the much-needed transportation. Last week, we were able to buy it, and today we are using it in order to preach the gospel. Glory to God! In the district of Patuakali live 1.5 million people. In this region, the adult literacy rate is 36%, which is below average level of the country, 43%. Today is Sunday, and again the missionaries are sent to evangelize in a Muslim village. Right now we are traveling to a Muslim village on the boat. Travel time is one hour by boat and 20 minutes to walk. Our goal is to go there in order to spread the gospel of Jesus Christ to preach that there is salvation. The city of Patuakali has 1.5 million people and they have not heard the gospel. Our goal is to preach to 10,000 people every month so that people can learn about God. Now we are driving to the village to distribute rice, preach, give candy to children and just show the light of Jesus Christ. I noticed that many of the elderly came to repent. This surprised me, because for older people it is harder to open up and accept change because of their Muslim-hardened character. And seeing how these elderly grandparents came out to be prayed for, they were like children when they first heard the truth. When we prayed for them, they had tears in their eyes and much joy. When we were traveling there, I didn't know what to expect. But when I saw people that came to repentance and how many wanted us to pray for them, I realized how much of a joy it is to have the privilege to pray for these Muslim women. I saw that all of them wanted me to pray for them. The joy was overwhelming. After the service, the villagers invited the missionaries to their house for dinner and fellowship. This young man came to us today to our evangelism and told us through an interpreter that immediately after this service he is going to his betrothal. His engagement is scheduled today at 5 o'clock. The sun had already disappeared over the horizon, so the missionaries returned to the boat to sail back to the city. People on the shore would expect the return of white foreigners, because again, they want to hear the living word. 
Some people die in Bangladesh for preaching the gospel. I heard about a man who was handing out flyers to people. He was captured by the radical Muslims and thrown down from the third floor of the building. He almost died, but thank God he survived. Providing shelter for Christians in Bangladesh caused abduction of children from Christian families who are then sold into madrasa, Muslim schools or into slavery abroad. About 10 kilometers from Patuakali, Mission God Will Provide acquired land for the construction of an orphanage. Eight months ago, about one acre was bought for the construction of an orphanage. In Bangladesh, many orphans live in this area. That is why we are building a three-story orphanage right by this tower. Construction of the building for the orphanage was designed according to the requirements of local climatic region. This will ensure the stability of entire house during flood seasons in Bangladesh, which happens every year. Window and door openings are designed so that in the event of the flood, water could pass through the building without destroying it. First floor will be residential living. We are planning for a church and a kitchen. Second floor is planned to house 40 children, and in the third floor rooms will be made for missionaries. In order to find clean water, they have to drill down 900 feet into the ground. This well pumping will serve us, the orphanage, as well as the local people and the neighboring villages. Clean water is very hard to find in Bangladesh, and we are very grateful to God that He has given us 16 people who gladly devote their time to this project. This project will include construction of orphanages, medical centers, rehabilitation centers, and the openings of new churches. We have a vision that all 195 countries around the world will be impacted by the missionaries sent by God Will Provide International Mission. You can join and become part of the global service mission God Will Provide.